Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Programming with a Purpose. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the lifecycle methods. What are the different files that are created by default when we create a new project in Swift? So when you are creating a project and use iOS 13 onwards, you are going to see there is an app delegate file and a scene delegate file. It wasn't present before iOS 13 because we have a single scene and window that is going to be displayed. But after iOS 13, we used to have two files app delegate and scene delegate app delegate is going to handle all of the lifecycle methods of the app and scene delegate is going to basically handle all of the lifecycle methods of the scene so we can create multiple scenes and each scene can have multiple windows after iOS 13 so basically the feature like drag and dropping and merging images all of these can be done with the multi window feature after iOS 13 that necessitates the use of scene delegate which is then created and it manages the scene life cycle next i am going to discuss about some of the methods that are basically part of the life cycle of a view controller so you are going to see all of these methods in the term of as they are called so first is the load view which is called if we are creating a view controller programmatically no need to use it if you are using storyboard and you have set the initial view controller load view if needed is basically it is going to load the vc view if it is not already loaded then there is a view did load after the view is completely loaded view will appear is basically when the view is about to appear it is loaded but it is not present on the screen view will lay uh, layout sub view is basically called just before the vc view layout sub view is called and did layout sub view is called basically after the view uh, layout sub view is called there is a typo here it is basically after view did appear is basically when the view is fully displayed on the screen and view will disappear will be called when the view is just about to disappear from the screen and removed from the view hierarchy and view did disappear will be called when view is removed from the view hierarchy you should be able to understand these functions before writing any of the view controller because certain functionalities and certain views can be manipulated inside each of these functions. Now I am going to create a new project with the name lifecycle display and I am selecting language swift for it. No data is added to it and uh, after that I am going to show you the file that it contains. So you can see here is an app delegate file which has a function application with the parameter did finish launching with option. So I am adding a print statement here to see what is the order of call of all of these functions and I am going to show you them after running this code. So here you can see I have also added a function application with the parameter did discard scene. I've added that after that I am adding some of the print statements inside the scene delegate. So scene that is a basic function will connect to is the entry point for a scene when it's created and did disconnect is called when a scene is being disconnected. These are all of the lifecycle methods for one scene that we have created inside our app. So I'm adding all of the print statements in all of the lifecycle methods of scene. So here this is scene will enter foreground and scene will enter background. After that, I'm going to move to the view controller. So here you have seen that I'm going to add some of the print statements in the lifecycle methods of my view controller. So view did load is called here. After that, I'm going to override some of the other lifecycle methods of my view, which is basically view will appear. So here I'm going to add a print statement. Also, you should override these methods with a first line as super dot view will appear in the case of view will appear overriding function. I'm going to add those lines later. So I'm going to also override the method view did disappear with a print line. And after that, I'm also going to override another function, which is basically view will disappear. So all of these functions will have the print statements that will help us to display the order of each of these lines when a view is created or destroyed. So here I've added all of the, these lines. After that, I'm going to create some of the UI elements in the storyboard. 
so that we will be able to see the view controller on our screen so here i have created a label hello world and i am going to set its property by setting it horizontally in the container and vertically in the container and some of the extra properties that i have set previously i am going to remove them so you just need to add these two properties alignment of horizontal and vertical placing it on the center so this is the view controller and after that i am going to play the code and as you can see that some of the functions that will be executed will be printed on our console so these functions are first of all app delegate which is did finish launching with options scene delegate function called view controller view did load called view will appear scene will enter foreground called from the scene delegate and scene did become active from the scene delegate is called now after here you can see that none of the functions like view did disappear or view will disappear are called no, none of the function like scene disconnect uh, from the session are called all of these functions will be called when we are going to kill the app or destroy the view controller so here i'm going to create another view controller so that we hop between the two view controllers and see which of the functions are being called when we basically create or destroy a view so here i am going to create a view controller with the name of new view controller i am going to copy all of the functions of view controller to this new file and then i am going to basically modify the print statements like this so next i am going to basically modify the storyboard i am going to adjust the label hello world inside a stack view that is going to be aligned in vertical way and after that i'm going to add another label to the new, new view controller and with a button on the first view controller i'm going to move to the new view controller and then i'm going to basically see how the life cycle methods are handled when we move from one view to another next you can see here i am going to add an ib action that is going to be connected with the button that i have created inside my first view controller to move to the next view controller and i am going to write some of the programmatically code here to move to the next vc and i am going to connect this button inside the storyboard with this function So here I am fixing some more errors and after that I am basically going to the main file, storyboarding file and after that I am going to basically enter a storyboard ID here. So new VC will be added here and now I am going to play the code. And once I am able to play it you are going to see that it is going to crash on app delegate. Mm, this is due to the reason that I haven't checked this box so check this box use storyboard ID and I'm going to fix some of the changes here now after that I'm going to go to the next VC by clicking the button and the next VC is shown now you are going to see that the view functions are not called but when I have killed the app the remaining functions are called so I am going to make a small change here now new view controller functions are called and when i remove the view controller you will see that the view will disappear and did disappear functions are called now i'm going to kill the app and after the app is closed scene delegate scene did disconnect and app delegate did discard scene session functions are called 
after that the view controller functions view will disappear and view did disappear is called for our main view controller so this is the order of these lifecycle methods in which they are called once a view is launched or a view is removed or at last the last view is removed from the view hierarchy so this is all for this tutorial i hope you have learned something from it do not forget to like and share this video subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching